Good afternoon, venerable monks, uh, friends in the Dhamma. Uh, this is the second uh, session in the afternoon for today. We, uh, we have four speakers, and these four speakers, monks, uh, two monks from Thailand, and uh, one from uh, Myanmar, and one from Tibetan. And today we are going to have about 20 minutes each for this session. And the, the topic today is based on a different uh, talk. Uh, we have the mindfulness, and we have the uh, the other one is the uh, impermanence, is anicca, and the other one. Each of us just turn up to each other, and then we don't know exactly uh, which one come from where and what. But I know only two sides uh, on my right, two monks from Thailand, and they are going to talk. I would like to invite our monks from Thailand to start first because we're two monks and follow from Tibetan tradition and followed by Thai and also the Myanmar is the last. He like to talk about Anicca. So Anicca should be the last. So I uh, would like to uh, tell our friends and the uh, Pakubalat uh, Supon is the first uh, Thai monk who are from Thailand and also graduate in uh, England. Uh, actually, he's friends of uh, Tan Chok Kun Suit and also Tan uh, uh, Both who are here today. And we are close to understand how we can deal the, uh, the session this afternoon. And I would like you to prepare the question to ask individuals who would like to uh, ask for speakers going to be your uh, help you to enlighten your understanding for today. And I would like to hand over to Tan Pra Kubalat Supon, the far end. Uh, his topic today is uh, it's interesting. He recited for time to time about this topic, and I would like him to talk uh, in the session that he prepared today with mindfulness. Thank you. Bahung Sahat Samapinim Mittasa Yudantang Krime Karang Utita Korasase Namarang Bahana Didam Mawitina Chitwa Munindo Tamte Yasa Bawatute Jayamangarani Namo Buddhaya. Pay respect to the Lord Buddha, Dhamma Sangha, and His Holiness the Rami, the Dalai Lama, and uh, colleagues, Theravada Sangha, and Mahayana Sangha, all our people. <coughs> I would like to speak about Mindfulness. Mindfulness is English language. Six topics for me to explain about Satipatthana. First, what is mindfulness? Second, where does mindfulness come from? Third, what are types of mindfulness? Fourth, how many levels of mindfulness are there? Fifth, how we do practice and develop mindfulness? Sixth, do living beings and other things have mindfulness? Six topics. First, 
What is mindfulness? Mindfulness is sati. Sati is Bali language. Anyone understand? Sati is Bali language. Mongolia? Mongolia have the language about sati. Tibetan? Sati is Bali language. Mongolia, you don't have? How to say sti in your language? You don't have any language? English mindfulness. Ah, yes, like that. Mabes language, Cambodian language, it's different. But Pali language is sti. Sti in English language is mindfulness. So understand mindfulness is sti. Okay? So the second, where does mindfulness come from? This is important. Where does mindfulness come from? I think everyone understands about mindfulness. So where does mindfulness come from? It comes from 37 dhammas of enlightenment means 70, uh, 37 bodhipakkhya tham. Bodhi means dhamma of enlightenment. First, come from four satipatthana. The second, come from five powers or five bala. Third, come from in three, five intriya. Five intriya means Pali language. English, five faculties. Five faculties. Fourth, from seven factors or seven pochanka. And fifth, from eight past factors or eight phone paths. This comes from mindfulness. How many or oh, where is type of mindfulness? What oh sorry, what what are the types of mindfulness? One, wrong mindfulness. Second, right mindfulness. I, for example, one is wrong mindfulness. Do you know mosquito? Mosquito. Around. When you see mosquito and bite you, suck. Oh. You punish or hit it. Mosquito die. That's wrong mindfulness. Because mosquito die. You attention to kill it. Right? Or you don't have any mindfulness. I think all of you have mindfulness, but why you punish it? Why you kill it? You have mindfulness when you punish it or kill it. Right or no? Right or no? Right? That means wrong mindfulness. If right mindfulness, you don't punish it or hit it or kill it. You beware, you observe, oh, mosquito coming. You escape, oh, left side or right side. Oh, go away, go away. If you don't go away, I kill you. Oh, if they're afraid, you go away. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> that means right mindfulness. So wrong mindfulness and right mindfulness, you should understand. If you build wrong mindfulness, the power of wrong mindfulness increasing, become angry, 
become hatred and become worse person. It's not good. If you embedded long mindfulness in your mind, it's terrible. You become touch your person. You can kill anyone, kill father, kill mother, kill your friend, and kill everyone in the world. That means wrong mindfulness become big power. But I am uh, uh, right mindfulness. So I can smile for all of you. Mm, yes, I mean, be happy. This means I create uh, right my power or right my fullness. So there are two kinds of my fullness. One is wrong my fullness. The second, right my fullness. Okay? Number four, how many rebels of mindfulness are there? Listen. How many levels of mindfulness are there? It's five levels. Five levels. First, we have normal, normal, normal mindfulness. No more means stay. Stay. We have mindfulness. We doing action, anything else, speak or sitting, writing or look around. Sometimes mistake. Sometimes forget that. Forget it. Oh, this is my husband. Oh, this is my wife. Oh, this is my children. Oh, like this. Sometimes forget. That means no more mindfulness. If I said the four satipatthana, four satipatthana is one of first level. Buddha let us practice mindfulness. Please observe your body. Observe your body. So. I pass, I pass. I would like to detail more and more. Next. I just say, how many levels of mindfulness are there? It's five levels. One from four satipatthana. Second, from five powers. Third, from in five interior or five faculties. Fourth, from seven factors or seven pochanga. Fifth, from eight parts of factors, I not explain to detail, just uh, tell about five level of my fullness. This is important. How do we practice and develop my fullness? This is important. How we practice and develop mindfulness. Lord Buddha said, or Lord Buddha taught, to practice mindfulness means the at on time. Lord Buddha taught, to practice mindfulness at all times. Not only your sitting meditation or walking meditation. Not only that, on time, if you observe your body, walking, sitting, eating, lying down, that means you develop mindfulness. Okay? Is it clearly? Clear or not clear? Oh, you are sleepy. <laughs> wow, nobody answer. That means you're sleepy. Sleepy or not? No, okay, continue. Good, 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 good. Listen to me. Lord Buddha said, we should practice mindfulness at on time. The first step to develop mindfulness is to develop mindfulness of the body, which is called Kaya Nupasana Satipatthana. 
Kaya means, 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 what is this? Body, yes, yes, oh, you are listen, not sleepy. Hmm. You listen to me. Okay, good. Understand? Oh, wow. Hmm. Good. Kaya nupasana satipatthana means we should observe our body. Our body can separate six perceptions. Six perceptions. Do you know six perception? Bali language means first six perceptions mean one, one, one. One is Jakku, uh, Jakku Vinyana. Jakku Vinyana. Jakku means, means eyes. Yes, yes, right. Wow, understand, good. Jakkuvinjana means mindfulness of eyes or observe eyes. When you look around, you observe your eye. Oh, this is, this is an ugly person. It's a beauty person. Why? I don't like beauty. I don't like ugly. I like beauty. This you must observe. It's make guilty inside or feel uh, or give love some lady or some handsome boy and become guilty inside. If I know you should is build good power or bad power, wrong mindfulness or right mindfulness. When you see it, does man say, hands up, no problem. He says, I concentrate to speak. Yes. I, Jakku, Jakku is Pali language, Jakku Vinyana, Jakku Vinyana. And then, Sota Vinyana, observe your eyes, and then observe your ears. When you're hearing, tring, tring, tring. <laughs> who is calling me? Look at me, my girlfriend. Yes. Oh, this egg and fur. No, I don't like this. Up it <laughs> immediately. <laughs> oh, because number is appear inside. <laughs> That's mean you understand. No, oh, this egg and fan. I need uh, present girlfriend. <laughs> That's mean you recognize. If you have wrong fullness, oh, this, uh, I would contact her again and again and again. And then you become love her. This makes you attach, attach it, and then become this love from the monk. It's a wrong mindfulness. Because you are a monk. If you love lady, it's wrong mindfulness. Hmm? Um, Theravada is uh, okay. Mahayana is the same. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dangerous monk. <laughs> <laughs> dangerous. Be beware, beware. <laughs> so, we observe here. Observe. You have my friend to observe. You listen. That means. Good, built, right, my phone. Oh, second. So, I, ear, nose. Nose means kana, vinyana. Kana, vinyana. Observe nose to smell. Any smell. Some, something, or the, the, the air from the body. Yeah. Hmm. Bad smell. I don't like this. Who is? Oh, you, you. I hate this bad smell. <laughs> that means you're guilty inside. Oh, thinking about bad, about that air. That means wrong mindfulness. Anyone can stop force, force air from the body. 
Nobody can stop. It's normal. If you're thinking it's normal, it's no problem. It's let it be. Right or no? Let it be. Smell it. Just know it. Bad or good. No problem. It's, it's normal. If you're thinking, let's say, that means right mindfulness. Okay? It's a good explain. Good explain. Oh, oh, this is because of uh, good looking too means. Nobody answer. Good looking, what does this mean? Handsome monks. <laughs> <laughs> and then next. Tongue, tongue, tongue. When you eat, when you drink, the taste coming. Oh, this means Coca-Cola or Pepsi or Apple juice. Oh, very good taste. I love it. I love it. Uh, some me please, some more please, some more please. That means greedy, greedy. One not enough means greedy. You should drink enough. Okay, it's okay. Not too much. Drink properly, not too much, not less. That means right mindfulness. If you would like more and more, take more and more and become over, greedy. That means wrong mindfulness. Okay? Tongue and then body. Body. When we're sitting on the chair, very strong. Oh, the chair is not good. Oh, this the chair is very soft. Oh, I sit very convenient and comfortable for me. Oh, sit immediately, come, fell to sleep. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that means uncontrolled. Uncontrolled. When you uncontrolled, you fail to sleep. It's not good. If you observe, if you observe your body, and then you know, oh, this strong, this soft chair, some, some chair is strong, some chair is soft, you're sitting, oh, okay. It's comfortable for me. If you have any chair or space chair, you can move from special chair. You don't torture your body. If your body torture or harmful, it's not good for sitting anymore. That's your right mindfulness. If you torture your body, that's wrong mindfulness. Good teacher. Good experience. Yes? You agree with me? Not sleepy, but agree? Agree. Yes. <laughs> okay. And then the, the sixth mindfulness. Mano Vinyan. Mano means mind. Vinyan means knowledge or observe. Observe your mind. What they, what it thinking. What thinking, bad or wrong? Thinking, uh, worry about that, about it. You know, you're thinking of worry too much. How I healthy? How I make money? How, 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 how? In the future, I must good luck. I must healthy. Sometimes, you, oh, boring about everything. Very, very terrible, terrible for me. This means you're thinking too much. Too much thinking. Back to your mind. And concentrate about Bhutto, 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 Bhutto. This right mindfulness. Or chanting any chant. Oh, money, but you Oh, money, but you Oh, money, but you Good. This right mindfulness. Good. Good. Yeah. This means how to develop mindfulness. I said to you already. There's six. Do living beings and other things have mindfulness? Do living beings have mindfulness or other things have mindfulness too? Oh. Let me. Do you understand this pen? And do you think pen have mindfulness? No. 
it's not, it doesn't have six perceptions. Just form, just body, nothing to feeling, good or bad, he don't know. It's done. But animal have, animal have, dogs have eye, have ear, have body, have tongue, have nose. Dogs. So, if you take care of dog, very good. Dogs become obedient. Mm. If you don't take care of dogs, dog become like a tiger, can bite. Wah, wah. That is oh, then tell for Indian people, you come to the temple, <laughs> right or no? That's mean. Living beings have mindfulness, but not developing by practice. Things not have mindfulness. So, a conclusion about Satipatthana, we should observe our body. Our body separates six, six perceptions. We must observe eye, ear, nose, tongue, body, and mind. That's you can develop your mind power and right mindfulness in, embedded in your, ball, in, in your mind and then become happy life. Okay? Finish for me. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Prakul Balat Sukhon okay. uh, for his uh, mindfulness. And it's very good to hear that he have the different uh, approach of the mindfulness, especially mosquito. So I appreciate that his talk, and also we have to uh, respect our time. My question is, uh, but for, uh, yes, I mean, to the presenter sitting on the far left, okay? So when, uh, regarding the engagement with mindfulness within the categories of the 37 limbs of limbs compatible with enlightenment, would you consider uh, the engagement in uh, mindfulness to be a mind as opposed to a mental factor or both or only mental factor? If it is a only a mental factor, what kind of mental factor it could be? Can you, did, did, did you understand that? Have you got my question? Mm. And also the demarcation. What is the demarcation of uh, the engagement in mindfulness? Could there be a contrived engagement in mindfulness and also spontaneous? Uh, engagement in mindfulness, which is... Oh, thank you. Is, I just uh, want to clarify the question to him so he can answer the question that you ask. Thank you. Okay. Lord Buddha said, we would like to practice and develop mindfulness. First, first step, we develop mindfulness is set or observe body first. Observe body. Set the mindfulness. The Buddha said, Kaya nupasana satipatthana. Kaya means body. Observe mindfulness at your body. After that, what is feeling? You know it. You observe it. What you're feeling? Good, happy, sad, or tertiary, or anything else? After that, what do you thinking about? After that, what do you thinking about? Feeling. And then, Dhamma Nupasana Satipata means change. Change means emotion, change. Sometimes moody, sometimes happy, sometimes worried. This means change. And then back to your body again. 
observe your body and body separate six perception eyes ears nose tongue body and mind it's changed on the time but we don't have knowledge enough we don't know it's changing if we observe again and again and again and again until you sleep stop and wake up observe it again at your body then you feel build more it, it, energy it, it general this means sati bala sati bala means five power sada bala virya bala sati bala sati bala means full of sti awareness if you practice again and again and again is developing become sti in si sti in si mean uh, quality of uh, awareness my question is uh, to clarify the question of venerable uh, venerable's question uh, venerable i should ask question was more technical we talk about mindfulness during that mindfulness are we trying to enhance one chetasika out of 52 chetasikas are we particularly trying to strengthen and kind of uh, make powerful one chetasika is it like that or not yeah, yeah. so so this if it is that then he needs to find the kind of clarification on that and where does it the chetasika form uh, kind of falls in which category does it falls in kind of uh, the universal or does it falls in the category of beautiful or does it falls in the other categories so uh, you have to clarify from that angle because generally um, when you speak about mindfulness uh, people are always thinking about the mind but according to kind of uh, abhidhamma mind is divided into huge categories there are main sections of mind there are the chetasikas and chetas and chet chetas and chetasikas so within the chetasikas there are 52 varieties according to theravada so uh, out of that definitely you have to pinpoint to one point so how to explain that that is the question i not to detail about this i said lord buddha said my funet develop by by observe body first means kaya nupassana satipatthana if you observe your body body separate six perception i look at sometime greedy i need it keep me like this this wrong mindfulness understand it right okay take or no problem this not greedy if you develop greedy again it's more powerful hey <laughs> like this this mean have wrong mindfulness okay this mean if you develop like this again and again become terrible person did the opposite way wrong mindfulness i said and right mindfulness mitcha sati and samma sati mitcha means wrong right means right my phone wrong phone and right my phone develop set uh, observe body first and then what you are feeling about your body you look at you see you feeling or anything else if you greed or hate or delusion that's mean wrong my phone this become powerful wrong wrong if you again and again and again if we thinking back again and again and again bad power is increasing right or not that's mean wrong my funet it the opposite way why buddha said samma sati samma sati samma 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 again and again on samma not misha right okay thank you <laughs> uh venerable yes i will take last question venerable eh ta suzu Forget 
tini denje la pa jande tini gonzu di che yori homare stata ti che ita denje yoro demba je la pa jande ani gondan de tata ngazu jonu tir mumbo yori ta kanta de na ti ni ni demba nya sha pa je de denje la pa jande tini gondan de che o sunro che je shei just as in the tibetan tradition do you in your tradition do you have this practice of relating the practice of four mindfulness relating it to the four noble truth yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. i said the same same because buddha said practice mindfulness means stay on time stay means mindfulness observe body 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 again and again i said again buddha said Kaya nupasana satipadhana. After that, developing, become uh, five power, means developing. After that, uh, five faculties. After that, pochanket means uh, factors. Uh, seven factors. After that, become Sama city means developing, developing, developing high quality. That's become wisdom. It becomes wisdom. You can separate emotion, bad emotion, you know, right emotion, you know, because have seven factors. Step, pochangko sati sangkato dhamma nang vijayatatha viriyam piti pasati pochangka jatatha bare. If you have full of mindfulness, means sati sampocha, sati sampochong, just mean uh, the same. I punish, I accuse anymore. That's wrong, wrong mindfulness. I accuse. But Buddha said, if you turn to be right. Mindfulness means sama sati, and then concentrate. Sama sati, concentrate. After that, the jnana, jnana means wisdom appear, can control your mind, can control your mind. After that, oh, this wrong way, this is right way. Then you select the right way, and then concentrate your body again, and separate what is body, what is uh. Uh, what is body uh, factor? It means body is uh, earth, fire, uh, air, water. You separate. This means wisdom from the power of mindfulness. The same you walking, you know. You can't do mistake. Because you full of my power, that's mean like that. So step by step, not hurry up. Nibbana is far away. Not catch up like this. Impossible. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, Venerable. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Well.